I went last year. And if, you know how you go on a trip and you think you know where you're going, and then when you get there you realize that you really didn't do your homework and you don't really, you're not really prepared for where you're going? So I bought Bali, Bali rice terraces, little patties to walk in. The lower picture is a picture I took in Yunyan. You look down on these enormous terraces that have been built over the last 1,500 to 2,500 years by hand. That's, there were six of us, that's four of the people in our group. They're aiming down. I am scared of heights. Mm -hmm. So I'm back by the road. I had a choice. I could get killed by traffic, or I could go over there and look down on the edge of the cliff. So I finally did, and that's what I was shooting. It was, it was fabulous, but boy, was it a challenge for a person who's scared of heights. Um, what you're seeing, the, the, you're seeing the reflection of sunlight on the, um, on the water because they only have one season of planting. They were up in the mountains, they're 15 miles north of Vietnam. Why was I there? I lived in Seoul, South Korea, which is the rectangle, the yellow rectangle, and I um, needed to get to renew my visa. So I flew to Shanghai, then I flew three hours west to Kunming, and drove seven hours through the mountains to the Red Star. Um, it's really boring driving for seven hours on a Chinese highway. And so I started playing around with my camera, and this was a two-second exposure of the lights of the truck in front of us going through the tunnel. I have a lot of those because we went through a lot of mountains. Um, finally, we got off the highway, and we thought, oh, we must almost be there. This is a group of people I found on the internet that I decided I would go with, so it's a little bit shaky to begin with. And we think, I think that we're almost there. That mountain, if you look carefully, you'll see little sort of white lines going up. We went up the entire mountain and over the top and down into more mountains. Finally, we got to the town of Xingxi, which is, as I said, 15 miles from Vietnam, and um, on a mountaintop. And that's our hotel at the top, the Yun Ti Hotel. And if you ever go, it's very nice. And they have the best food I've ever eaten in my life. This is dawn the next morning. It's an HDR, which I'll explain in a second. But this is, they call it the Cloud Sea because they're above the clouds. And so the clouds come in like the tide during the day and then go down. And you never know whether you're going to be walking around in a total fog or whether you're going to see things clearly. You shoot first thing in the morning and at night. And the rest of the time, our guide would walk us around through the, um, the villages and he was local, and he would just barge into people's houses. So this is a typical house at the top. Um, and the women do all the work. So they, they do all the heavy labor. Um, we barged in on a funeral, yes. And so they were slaughtering the water buffalo there. And the top people are playing music um, for the water buffalo to be slaughtered to. Uh, the man down at the bottom is a... Um, is a member of the family, and that's why he's wearing the white, um, white kerchief, I guess. Uh, then we saw more people on, the, on our hikes walking around, and we were just in the middle of nowhere. And afterwards, I thought, I'm going to go back to immigration, and they're going to say, have you been on a farm in the last week? <laughs> I wallowed in the farms in the last week. Okay, this, this is a, um, a sunset shot close to the road. There's no water. Most of those fields are green, but it's a reflection. Um, it's just wa it's water, but no no rice. But the things like this, that's the rice that's the baby rice that's been planted. And within the next few weeks, they would plant them. This is the next morning, and at one of the the dawn places that you go to shoot. And as you can see, at 7 a.m., we're all excited. We're all ready. And by 7.09, we're, the, we're totally engulfed by the clouds and had to give up. So you don't have a lot of control. This is how you create an HDR photo, which is what you really want to do in a case like this. You take a dark exposure, a medium one, and a light one, and then you blend them together using software. And, and I have, the next slide is going to show two different software programs, um, HDR FX Pro and Pro Photomatics Pro. If they're a little bit different, um, Photomatics Pro usually is a little bit grittier looking, 
but, but a, a, it's high dynamic range and it's combining the darkest areas of a photo and the, of, of what you can see in the lightest areas into a photograph. Um, the next day, during our wandering around, we wandered around the markets. The honey people are the people who built the rice terraces. They drop dress somberly. The Yi people, I don't know what they really do, but they dress incredibly. And all those clothes are hand embroidered. And they go to the market, this was market day, and they were buying the, the different um, patterns to, to embroider. And there's some chicken feet in case you're hungry. And, um, and spices. I love the woman in the center. In the last five years, cell phones have hit this area. It's only been really discovered in the last 15 years, and everyone has a cell phone. You'll walk through a rice terrace, and you'll see a man walking along, leading his water buffalo, and he suddenly pauses and stops and answers his cell phone. Um, those are honey up on the left, and down on the right, and in the middle is a yi, a yi costume. The market was just an incredible place to walk through, because there was so much color and so much activity. Okay, then we hit traffic jams. First of all, you might hit a traffic jam where you're trying to walk behind a water buffalo because they walk them, they don't have fields to, to graze on, so they walk them like along the highway to eat. Um, that's a traffic jam on the viewing platforms. And then this is sunset, this is the last night sunset at, at what they call Tiger Mouth. Thank you.